Yeah, hello. Checking out this game, Scorn, being as Halloween's around the corner, and it's a bit of a horror game. It is a bit disgusting. I did a little, I don't know, 10, 20 minute playthrough earlier, and um, was a bit gross. It was hard work. I mean, it took me a fair bit of time to fiz figure stuff out. Actually, it must have taken me longer than 20 minutes um, because I really was just looking around for ages. I think he's having some sort of flashbacks at the moment of how he ended up down this, you know, subterranean chasm. It's really disgusting. So we'll get to the root of the problem for them. Yeah, it's. Um, Pretty tough if you survive that. So yeah, I I mean, I didn't know much about the game when I was looking at whether or not it's worth having. Um, one of the reviews said that all the negative reviews are due to it being quite difficult in terms of the puzzles, quite challenging, and people just giving up, um, which took my interest even though I've been sort of temporarily put off puzzle games by that game Mist, which I just really, really struggled with. Um, every other puzzle game I've been fine with, but maybe Mist is like a proper puzzle game. I don't know. Well, the first time I logged in, I couldn't figure out how on earth to open this door or whether or not you can and what anything about that door is about. So I sort of just ignored it. It's quite, it's quite grim all the stuff going on around here. I wouldn't like to find myself in a place like this. It very much gives me an aliens sort of vibe. This structure just seems really organic in nature. Very organic shapes everywhere. Disused as well. What you could do with going around with a brush and a mop, really my opinion so yeah it's um it's not a nice vibe to it <laughs> to say the least there's another door no idea how to get through those doors this large chasm here is the first puzzle looks like a big archery that thing there um i'm running at the moment yeah so i'm just going to sort of whiz through this first puzzle because i managed to solve it not easily, I might add. Really, really wasn't easy at all. I think I think I've fluked it to to a degree. Really, I'll, I'll show you. Oh, well, saying I solved it, it's going to get back to it's going to be hard again. Now it might be worthwhile when I come to the actual some bits. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's worth worth following this if you're not going to play it in a way. So sort of like if I know I'm not going to watch a movie, I don't mind a good old spoiler really. Okay, can't interact with that. That definitely looks something like out of Aliens. It's either a commode or a, or like a, an egg breeding thing. And in there. I don't think it will be long before if you want a job in a certain, you know, if you want to work in warehouse distribution, you'll have to have your hand augmented with some disgusting chip. I th I'm sure there's a film about that. The, the Machinist, maybe, might have been where... I don't know. There is there is definitely at least one film about that, where, you, where somebody gets an augment in their hand. And then, of course... Your hand becomes redundant as the job role changes. Um, what am I doing now? Okay. Unlock that, and then roll the door. Yeah, it just felt like a fluke that the first time I did it, anyway. And then the door sort of releases, so I've got to leg it through. Exit. Leg it round. Come on, come on. 
I noticed the door seems to stop about there, and then I was able to, I was hoping to clip through something, but never mind. Okay. I spotted this track on the go, but that's not the, the thing really, that's not the big thing. The big thing is, did I just come through there? No, I came through that one, did I? I don't know. No. So, eventually managed to get up this lift. It's horrible, those interfaces, sticking your fingers and hands into grubby little things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm so tempted to, like, make something like that around the house, you know, just to, just to do a light switch, which is like a gunge, a gunge hole you have to put your hand in or something like that. Nobody will ever want to turn the lights on. I won't want to turn the lights on now. Here it is. What you have to do here... Like the first time I did this, because I noticed this, there is no instructions whatsoever. There are no instructions, I, I couldn't leave that alone. Right, but I noticed that was trying to grab something, and I presumed these things are like cocoon eggs or something. Um, I presumed it was the ones the one that was lit up, this one here. So I tried to move that up there. Now, I think there's a puzzle called the Klotsky puzzle, which after years I finally managed to solve. I probably wouldn't be able to solve it again, but it's all about shifting blocks around. And so I decided to shift some blocks around. And the sort of key to the puzzle is to try and shift blocks around so that you can free up the little blocks, basically. Um, 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 um. Let's get that one down there. Oh no, I can't do that. Right, so... Get rid of that one. Put that one over there. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to put this one over here I think, get that out of the way yeah, you can't, where it's not got a hole like here, there, you can't put anything in there some of them are two vertical, some of them are one vertical it looks like, so probably it's probably going to take me ages I'll probably end up finding that I just fluked it the first time but, um, let's have a look yeah, that one won't go there I really, I bet I did. I bet it was just a pure fluke, fluking. Now, what's that? Is that a one block? That is a one block. Did that stay as a one block? I presume it did. Should have taken a screenshot of the old whatever I did. Yeah, so one blocks here are the things that you move around. And just like that Klotsky puzzle, which is a, a really famous puzzle, um, I highly recommend it. Um, hmm. I really need these blocks to be on the other side of this block. And in order to do that, that block will have to move down. To move that block down, I need to get that one block out of there. There we go. I need to move that there. That there, that there. Move that one down. Get this one block out of the way. Oh, it feels long winded. Right. Hurrah. Okay. Now. I can't move all the way down there. Because there's no space for it to go. However, that can move there. That one can move there. That can now move across. It can actually go all the way in there. I can then bring these out. Yeah, excellent. So you can come out. You can come out. And indeed, it's 
one here can come out. You tr try and fit the big blocks into the least useful place, basically. So you're all the way out there, out of the way. Great. Now what have we got? We've got two, three horizontal blocks. Okay, so we could do with bringing another one of these out here somewhere. So in order to do that, let's bring you over there. Let's get you out there. Yeah, let's let's move you out of the way here. And then we'll bring you back out and down. Over here. Somewhere there. And then we can bring a horizontal block out again. No, nope, too early I think. Hmm. Don't want a vertical block. What we need is a one block, so let's just do that then. Let's get a one block. And stuff you down there. Okay. Now we could do with getting that one block and that horizontal block swapping places somehow. So. There we go. There we go. Get that one block under that horizontal block. Yeah, so oh. Ooh. That didn't that wasn't exactly to plan, but let's see how we get on with this. Now we can move you all the way over here. Great stuff. Now, I think this one block here, from what I remember last time, was a sort of decoy. So if we can put this in the hole, we can just get rid of him off the board. If it tries to pincer it. Oh, I don't, I don't think you can fall down. I think this is essentially a puzzle game with a horror theme to it. Go and grab it and squash it yeah yeah it fell apart good 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 need to get rid of that horizontal block now come on let me out I think he's basically, I think this is like some, some dystopian future and he's sort of fallen into some alien craft that may have been here for, for a long time as well. There we go, move you down, grab you. It's vile, it's all slimy and vile. Okay, move you out of the way, put you down here, and there we do. There we've got it. Okay, and then finally this one. Oh, those are just one blocks. Okay. I have to move the one blocks because you can't move the two block unless the one blocks are out of the way. That's it. Okay, solved. So. But like I said, I mean, it took me a while on this bit the first time round. Actually, that little bit there didn't take me too long. It was just getting here and get to this point, really. Running around looking at things. In fact, none of it really took me that long. The bit that took me that long, and I'll, I'll show you coming up, it was crazy. It was just a little bit, but it just took me forever. Look at that arms and legs poking out of the thing. It's disgusting. It was like a cockroach. Right, but humanoid. So it must be some like alien breeding cloning facility thing. Yeah. Right. And then go back down the lift. Oh, 
I say alien, but all the all the switches and mechanisms seems to be perfect fit for a human limb. So maybe it wasn't alien. Right, and then what I want to do now is move that egg thing that's landed down into a room in a second. Right, let's try that then. So, oh, I can hear some weird noises. Where is it? I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Grim. Okay. I like that sort of neural interface thing there. Um, there's a track here. Um, so, I think I think the track is how I need it to be. Uh, no, maybe not that one. Okay. And... Oh, I don't know what that one is. Right, let's just assume that that's correct. I can always knit back up here and correct it. Then I've got to put this alien cocoon thing in here. So, I'll grab it first. Now, I assume... There's more than one way to skin a cat with this, forgive my analogy, um, but I did it one way and I assume, and that got me through, so I'm going to just carry on doing it. I don't know if that's penalised me or not, but there's other bits to the puzzle that I didn't really utilise, because I spent ages investigating the track layout and what I thought things do. And yeah, I didn't really sort of make use of them. So I don't know. I hope hopefully it won't penalise me, hopefully it won't limit my game progress. Look at this thing. Is it suffering? I presume it's suffering. It's yeah. It's gotta be suffering. It doesn't doesn't look doesn't look in good shape, does he? At all. And I'm about to make his day a whole lot worse as well, because I don't actually know what this does to him, but it can't be good. Yeah. Poor thing. Right. Let's wheel you along then. I'd like to say that your day's going to get a lot better, but it's not. thing did to him. Right, so it doesn't, it, this is, does not get any more pleasant at all. So let's transfer him into the, into the cool chair. I'll grab you over here in your little cocoon egg thing. Move you over into the chair. Ugh, stay away. Plop you in there. Come on, it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be just like a trip to the dentist. If your dentist is a psychopathic killer.
who comes up with stuff like that? It's made me feel, well, the first time I saw it, I felt absolutely well, just disgusting. Right, got, got my limb. And then this is the bit that took me forever. I kept poking this arm into controls. I sort of gathered that I needed to open this door, but it seemed like there's, you had to man both controls. So I kept stuffing the limb in here. Nothing happening. But I was able to put my own hand in there, so I then concluded that I must need a thing to stick on the limb, like I have on my own hand. And this thing here, I could not find it at all just took me forever I wasn't even looking for it I was just looking for something that I could do with this dodgy limb but it's yeah that tunnel down there I don't really know what all of this does down here there's tracks this is what I mean I, I presume there's something else I could have done because there's a track that comes all the way up here and does something I don't know what maybe I could have transferred him into that chair I imagine I'd have still ended up with a limb. So now I can push the limb in here. Unlock the door. And this is as far as I got last time. I was just if this, if this was real life and I, and I was in this position I think I'd just sit in the corner and cry I think I, would, I don't think there's a, a, any other tactic available although he's probably been hardened by some survivalist mentality you know in this dystopian world yeah so what's this a lift or a door Halloween bolting. It's hard to tell. I mean, the, the graphics are excellent, but it, oh, well, all those bodies down there. That's revolting. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, the whole place is strewn with dead bodies. Um, it's hard to tell. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm getting closer. Oh, God. That one looked like she was pregnant as well um, it's hard to tell what you can interact with and what you can't I wonder what happened to the, the bodies did they all just die of malnourishment and starvation or did they or did something happen right have a look in here then I think this is just all visual, so you, you sort of have to abstract the thing into what can be interacted with and what can't. In terms of getting through the game, what those eyes are for. It looks like the magic eye of a valve radio, like a vintage valve radio. Oh, that looks like some sort of vertebral column. Okay. You see that either that's phos phosphorescent or there's electricity down here. Can't get through to those steps. This way, no, no. Oh, he's breathing in all this murky stuff as well. What's up here? I get across there. No. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm getting lost already. I can't imagine it's that bigger chamber. 
There's something squelching underneath my feet. Outside. The outside. Oh, that'd be lovely. Doesn't look like very sunny out there, though. Surely I could squeeze under that door. Either these columns are like composed of some sort of even organic tissue or or something's grown upon them. Something moving. It's coming from over there. Down there. Why about where I was? Do I have already been this way? Looks like I have. What I want to do is. Back into that main chamber, maybe. How do I do that? It's hard to spot landmarks, really. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe these things just all look similar. I don't know. Let's see if we can circle around the whole thing. Okay, is this is this a dead end there? All right, there's that there's that vertebral uh, a vertebral column. Here's a platform. There's that magic eye again. So how did I? What's that? Can't interact with it, whatever it is. At this stage, is that an interaction thing? Almost looked like it could be. We're going through this tunnel. We're back in this main atrium area. Right, nice, whatever it is. Is that the main atrium I arrived at when I went up the lift? Could have been it, actually. I, d I don't know. I can't remember. So I'll start to get familiar with it. No, it does, that does look like more like it. Is, it, is that where I... Yeah. No, I, that's, that's what I did the first time when I arrived here. I, I took a left left in there so that means the lift must be here on the right and all those bodies on the left yeah okay well, let's go right this time let's around the corner here oh. look I mean, this is the sort of game where you'd expect something to jump out and chase you, but um, I'm sort of not expecting that to happen in this game. don't know. It just seems like the solitary nature of it is actually scary enough. Can't get up there. What I'll do is I'll just start 
following it round to the you know the left hand side in a second and then that way you can theory explore everything it's down there what's this here do anything no Okay. So I think I've ended up crossing. I just got a feeling that I've been here before. Yeah. I mean, so probably now all that's left is really some exploration in the main atrium. Oh yeah, I tried to interrupt that. Oh, I can do something with that. What can I do? Oh, what's that? Oh, sort of just floaty round. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, let's grab that. Put put the egg into it. Whatever it is. Oh, it's just revolting. This whole thing. Now. Where do we go with this egg? Can we... I reckon... We'll just plop it into this thing here. There we go. Will, will it plop into there? No? Can't do anything with it. Oh. Right. Well, feels like progress. This thing's popped up. What will this thing now do? Oh, God, it's disgusting. Right, okay. Ooh. I was sort of expecting something to come out and eat my face, but that's better. A better outcome, a, more, a preferable outcome, should we say. Now, what has this done? It's opened up all this. There's no map on this, so it's really easy to get disoriented. But um, is it disoriented or disorientated? Or is the Tate unnecessary? Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's opened up. That's good news, I think. I, I like to think can't do anything with that anymore it's sort of it's had its day is there another egg available to me I'll put one somewhere else no. that's it for that's it for eggs for the moment Is there another egg slot on this thing though? That's the other thing. Might be. Might, that I don't know what it looked like before it had its egg thing put in it. I don't know why I'm calling it an egg. It's suggestive of some sort of fetal embryonic creature inside. And it may not be. It may just be a battery. It might just be an organic battery. Let's let's go back to that atrium. So we can do something with that. That. Should have 
some something will happen with that i presume at some point i'm just not at that stage yet so yeah it's very difficult it's quite a deep rumbling sound it's very difficult to distinguish what what you can and can't do with this environment which is good i mean you know you don't you don't want just sort of polygon shapes where everything that you can interact with is bright red or something i might i might want that as i start to get fed up with this okay can't do anything here I don't know if the environment in any way provides clues, you know, like these these arterial pines. Go and do something. I don't know. Oh, I don't recall going through here, but maybe I did, yeah. Okay. Just scout around here to see if there's anything I missed when I came out of that lift. Oh, can I interrupt the lift? No, that's good news. That means I haven't sort of missed anything from the previous puzzle level thing. I do like this deep meditative humming sound. more calming than it is eerie okay that looks like the thing I got and put in the other thing it's a glowing round object so maybe I can somehow do something what's this here nothing there's no track no nothing so I need a a specialist something or other to interact with that thing whatever it is and I can't interact with any of these there are glowy things in that that look like they could be useful there's guns coming out that that looks like is that one of those maybe but a spent one of those now this thing what's the, this thing is glowing at me but again I can't really interact with it So, what I don't want to do is just sort of, I'd like a more intelligent process to try and figure things out other than running around, seeing if I can interact with something. Oh, I seem to be higher up. Oh, go on, I'm walking around barefooted, that's grim. Right, I'd like to get through there. Not sure how. I wonder if I can take that egg back out now. Or the battery, or whatever it's called. Now that the door's opened. Oh. It goes all the way around. No, it does not appear so. Is this another egg, though? It's 
very confusing because you seem to be able to control the height. Okay. And then it seems to rotate around the column as well as have a height. Something moving in that battery egg. I'm just sort of mashing keys at the moment just to see what can be done. What happens if I leave it parked there and then just exit this thing so it's in the middle? Yeah, what what goes on here? I can't interact with this thing directly. Ugh, it's sprayed with some s disgusting stuff. Okay, so no, I can't. I can't seem to interact with it. That's that was the control panel for that door. There is not one round this side. No. around there nothing really just try and try and it'd be annoying if I've wasted all this time and all I had to do was like walk somewhere I'm looking for puzzles to solve let's try and um, what's, what's I mean I walked up here there was there was no no through through way yeah I mean, there's nothing that can be interacted with or done now. I don't think there's a jump button. some sounds So I've only got two things I can interact with. What one is I definitely can't do anything with. And this second one, this this thing over here. I don't know if I can do anything with it or not. There doesn't seem to be anything else that can be done in terms of Oh. Oh, this this could pop up. Right. So if that one pops up, then I can put another thing up there somewhere right if that's the case I need to have another egg or, or glowy white thing this one looks like it can pop up as well so that's two two that can pop up and, the, and then all these these things seem to be the the like the disposal like the, it, it seems to like vomit stuff out into them so I have probably got to get hold of two more eggs, batteries, eggs, whatever they're called. Now there is a, a walkway up there. Where does that... How do I get up that walkway though? Okay, no, I can't really. But there is... no. Now what's that, a track? Is it a track? Let's follow the track, see where it goes. It's all the way along here. Oh, okay, so the track does go here. So I have got to get myself one of these things and move it along the track with this. And 
that needs a specialist tool, something going inside of it, inserting into it, in order to operate it, and I haven't got one of those on me. So, I need to find something that will fit into that. Oh god, it's so grim. Right. Hmm. But I, I'm no better off, really, because I, I... Maybe I need to put my hand into something again, and this time get another attachment. Somehow. So I imagine there must be something up here. Uh, I thought this might be a control room. But what's this bright, shiny thing? Like? Yeah. Oh, God! Scared the life out of me! Oh, right, okay. What is it? What is it? How did he know to do that? What is that? Right. Do you, did you really want that? I think. Oh, God. Oh, it's a gun, is it? Is it a gun? A stabby thing. Right, cool. Let's head back here and start stabbing at things. Right, feeling a lot more confident now. There we go. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to just pretend in my mind they are just batteries and they're not some weird energy producing creatures right they they are tracks oh my god right so really the environment does provide clues then to a degree although finding this thing wasn't well I, I assumed that was a sort of control room type thing now what 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 do I want to do with this oh god oh that was a waste let's try and get another one let's, let's put it In your hole. <gasps> oh, what's happened? What's happened? I'm sure something whispered in my ear then. That's horrible. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. There was a load game option there, so yeah, I presume. I assume I needed to load the game, uh, save the game at that point. See what's already been done. I haven't got the pokey thing in my hand, so yeah. Okay. And this egg thing, is it still here? Yeah, it is. So let's get the egg thing. Put it in where it belongs. Okay. I don't think I need to do that, press that button yet, so I'll come back to that. Let's go and get the pokey thing. But quite cool, I mean, I imagine technology in the future will be a, a sort of mashup of organic and inorganic devices. What do I do with that? 
Just stuff it in there. Batteries out. Save the game this time. Oh no, what's that? What's that? What's that? I can't remember what that did now. Oh. Oh, I just follow that thing basically. So, can I save it? I can't save it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, let's stay clear of these. You know what? Go this way around, actually. No. No, I can do it. I can do it. Stay clear of that steam. Oh, God. No, no. It's all happening again. It's not good, is it? that what is that what is that sound that's revolting what is it something's made a sound at me jesus christ okay oh god sorry i mean i've got dolby atmos on the go as well so that that's not i don't know if this is in dolby atmos but either way it's a very immersive sound um, probably have to press this button before I can get that machine working again. Oh god, it's really spooked me out, I'm still feeling a bit... Scared <laughs> is the word. <laughs> Scared. Uh, right, let's just get you on the go now. Let's get you around here. Come on, man up. Do revolting. Oh, that one's opened up, so let's get you in there. Don't know who the developers of this game are, actually. No idea. Okay. Well, that's good. There's another one opened up. Let's go and inspect. See what. See what we can see. Okay. Nothing really. So it's all about the third one's the charm. Now, do, uh, are you still floating around? They're like, maybe they're like defense drones or something. Yeah. Maybe. Making a grim noise. Can I load another one? That's the question. Can I load another one? No. So that's been exhausted. Ergo, I probably want to go around this side. And hopefully there'll be one of those thingies around this side. This is the logic. There does appear to be. Right, okay. So look at that. It's released a whole load of these white things around here. Well, 
But what I'm going to do, just double check this. This thing seems to have. Oh, I thought it had limited ammo. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I was going to go back around the other side. But. The hell is going making that noise for a start? Poke a hole in you, mate. I'm sorry. You gross me out. Okay. Let's get a hole. Let's poke a hole in you. I hope these aren't like sentient creatures or something that... well I don't care really I'm, I'm just I need to get out of this place it's disgusting once again right where is that thing now over here on the right well actually hmm, solving time I'm I'm, I'm surprised actually I, I thought I'd be here for like two hours wandering around getting bored because the thing is with these sort of linear puzzle solvers is uh, uh, missed that time unless you solve it you can't progress so there's nothing you know you can't skip past it or or just die with a low score you've, you've got to got to solve it Get that goo on you. Could be acidic. Oh, has he died? Oh, no. Oh, don't get it in your mouth. Myself an orange because I feel hungry now. Now that I've witnessed him getting goo in his mouth. <laughs> well, I've gained some sort of achievement for that. I don't know what it is. Oh, now that's pretty cool. That most certainly is organic. It's all, it's all moving around. I've got. I've left the controller, so it's, it's, it's vibrating manically while I'm peeling my orange. What's that? Like an umbilical cord on him? Yeah. Oh, that was the, that was the previous guy who got this far. Perfect length cutscene for separating a few segments out. Oh god, it is. It's an umbilical type cord thing. Yeah. Get that out. with an incisional hernia. Walk around one hand holding his guts in. Hmm. Right. It's quite far down. come out of one of those maybe this isn't the same guy maybe this is like a, a new creature that's been just stated I'm 
lie on the surface. I can't see a ceiling. What's this? What's this? Creature. Looks organic in nature. It's not a human skeleton, it's humanoid. But yeah, look at those bones around the cervical vertebrae. That, that's not normal. Cervical, cervical, cervical. Top, the ones at the top, the neck. Okay. Not sure where I want to go. Yeah, and look at that. Look at the uh, the thorax. Just oh no, it's not. It's, it's humanoid. Okay. Now that whatever that was, if it's organic, it, it's, uh, it probably isn't. But look, like it would have been big. Strange. Then a lot of AI designs of, of technology now are, are coming out very organic, bridges and things like that. It's incredible, really. Because they just feed into these engineering designs. They just say, this is what we want. We want this amount of resources, but you need to withstand this amount of newtons of force or whatever. You, and it just designs something that and it, well, they'll iterate until they, they can use the least amount of forces to satisfy the design and, and they end up like with things shaped like the like a pelvis of a bird or whatever. Well, can I get, no, oh, oh, what happened there? Yes, but it's not, not an area that I can walk into. Already getting lost again, so let's just sort of try and, no, did I just come through that? I did. Or did I? Which one did I just come through? Is there something down here? Okay, we'll, we'll do the old stick to the left. No, I came through that one. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, there's a fetus there. No, all guts. One of the two. I heard something then. Quite a spooky sound now, actually, for sure. Wind. It's, it's actually making me feel cold. It's, it's like howling wind sound. I'm just trying to talk because I'm nervous. Are we even on Earth? I mean, there's there's nothing definitive to say that we're actually on planet Earth. In fact, I would theorise we are not. Ooh, big thing in the distance there. Can I get to that? Not this way, I can't. good detail and there's nothing that has struck me as being you know like a rock is a duplicate of another rock 
I, don't, I doubt these are procedurally generated or anything, but they're, they're, they're pretty good. It's pretty unique graphics. I like it, actually. It's very good. It's quite open and barren here. Right, don't don't really want to get inside one of those, do I know? Oh, I've still got no shoes on, but my feet are looking even bonier. Am I human? I'm guessing not. Oh god. Those sounds that, that that's just got to be metal expanding and contracting. It's got to be. Keep hear, hearing weird things around me, like squelchy sounds. got a thing coming out of it but the other ones don't so what it's for. A few dead bodies around here. Well I tell you what in in I, I have no idea if this is Dolby Atmos but it sounds superb and you can really sort of that, that almost sounds like a THX. Oh, it just sounds really good. You know that THX sound as films it was prevalent on many films before the helicopter sound. It's just it's just superb. The audio scape is incredible. Right, let's get through here. Wow, this place is vast. Now, what is that? Is that ash? Looks like it. I assume it is. Flesh-eating, flying bird things. There, there is an entrance I've just spotted, so I'm just going to scout around here to see if there's anything. Yeah, what is this? It's a bit weird. I'm going to call them phages. Okay, so... Oh, my shadow. Jesus. Right, um... Can't go left. Um... Can't go right. Something just poked a hole in there. Oh. All right. Well, there's definitely something alive in here with me. Definitely. And fortunately, it seems to be more intimidated by me than I it. Okay. That's new. something growling now.
growling or, or purring. It's purring. Now, I don't really want to go near that thing. I've got no choice. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Just come to pet you. Oh, my God. Right. Um... Is that? Oh. Times like this, I'm so grateful I'm not playing this in VR. I, d I don't think I could stomach it, if I'm honest. Okay, well, whatever this thing is, I don't seem to be able to interact with it at the moment. Nor that. So... All that, but there are things to be interacted with there. What all this stuff does is it just an elaborate air conditioning system? What was that? Jesus, okay. Door. Can't do anything with that door. None of the doors have I been able to interact with. Just lifts so far. Okay. This is a no go area as well. So that just. Li oh, what's this? Oh, there's a corpse here. That's what have you got on you? What is that? I'll have that. You don't need it. the thingy in the hole and then what direction oh okay right oh 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 okay oh it doesn't do anything Okay, give that one to the locksmith lawyer, see if he can break that one. It's a bit, oh, oh, can I interact with that now? No, I can't. But this gizmo, I wonder if I can use it in here. Can't do anything with that, but I might be able to. Put it in there. Right. Okay, not, not really 100% sure what happened then. Let's try it one more time. Okay, well... Yeah. What do you do? Please be something pleasant. Please give me an ice cream. Oh, it's not going to be an ice cream, is it? It's going to be... Oh, it's a lift. Okay. I can hack that. What's around here? Nothing else. Let's go the lift, because it's the only option. Okay. Right, nothing there. 
Oh god. Phew, I've sent a shiver down my spine then. Oh. Got eyes on it, so it's a bit making me a bit nervous. I don't know if it'll attack me or if it's just some sort of environmental thing. Oh. Actually, I'm put I'm putting my hood up now. Will it will it reach over this headset? There we go. It's my safety comfort blanket hood. I'm sure that's why people wear hoodies. I don't think it's a gangster thing per se. I think it's just a people like their little comfort blankets over their heads. I know I certainly do. Okay. It's gone in that hole. Always sounded like a scream that. Okay. Oh. Was not expecting that. But it happened. Okay, so is this where I s sort of started? No, what's this? This key is certainly proved to be useful. Oh, I had it then. Oh, missed it again. That's ridiculous. Two rings on my key ring. Let's try and get a third and a fourth. gonna have to run through that at some point. Let's hope not. Let's hope it slows down before that situation. Oh god. You vile creature get away. Is that a clue to something or is it just a window? Oh, back at the... Is this the start of things? It looks strangely familiar. He's 
one. There'd be two. There'd be three. Oh, God! That wasn't necessary. Oh, God! Get the proboscis thing off you. Oh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Don't die, don't die. Oh, God. No, I'm not going to survive that, surely. I have. I've actually survived it. Oh, my God. Ooh, he's skinny, isn't he? He's wasted away. Oh, oh that felt traumatic. Oh. Oh, God. Didn't like that at all. Right. Well, I feel like I need a bit of sugar. <laughs> right. Let's, um, let's make it go back up here. Oh, dear. What was that fan? I remember now. Where did I come from? Creature that's vile. Now I've, I've obviously got this gun proddy thing on me again, so that's going to be doing something useful ish. Maybe. Yeah, there's the fan. So, why did I want to stop that? I wonder. Oh. A look what have we got up here no, that's not I thought that was daylight then that was a nasty creature wasn't it oh this thing again Oh, it's right today. Third ring. the lift but what is down here did I just come up from there where did I come from I came from there so is there something down here there is nothing nothing at all let's take the lift what's that what's that is that just called the lift I'm missing a ring. Can't do anything with that. Myself another hand thing. That's the lift call button. Okay. Oof. What's that? 
What's that? No, can't do anything with that. That I already got. This wasn't open, I don't think. Oh, yeah, there's nothing up here. So, back around the corner. Is it around there? It was. No. Oh. Around here. Here to be. Okay. Over here. Alright. Do you anything more interesting with this now that we've got three rings? No. Still not enough. Guessing, I'm guessing it's not enough. No. So I don't think anything's opened up around here. In which case, I think I need to go. Oh, ooh. Call the lift. I wonder what I'd need to make one of those out of if I made one. I've been trying to think about materials, really. What, what materials have we got? There's nothing to the left. And then there's now nothing to the right still. So I think I want to go here. This is where that creature, I saw it earlier, but it didn't do anything with me. Go up here. And I'm guessing the last time I think I went to the left. And then I came back out and I took a left again. So I'm assuming this time I need to go to the right. Oh. Well, that's just selfish, isn't it? Okay, maybe not to the right then. Maybe. Straight on. No, because I went up there. Yeah, I was right, so I came out and went to the left. Let's just explore up here. I don't know if I've got anything on me that's different. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything I missed? This is where I disabled that fan. So this all seems to be a dead end. That's okay. How did I get into the room then? There's a way in through there. Okay. I got into this room up there. This was the only decision to be made, so down here, but this is feels like I'm just going back. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so that so I went in through here. And I went up there. I've only just done that, so what's through here? Go straight across this time. I mean, I, there must be bodies up ahead if I've got this right. No, there isn't. 
have I been along here though? Yes, I have. Ah, okay, so I was in the middle one, then took the middle one. I've already tried the one on the right. Let's just try that again to make sure I'm not completely disoriented. Yeah, I can see the bodies actually, so let's just have another quick peek. Yeah, okay, so that's blocked. I've just come across, so all that remains is to do the one on the left. Again. Unless I have to somehow unblock those bodies. What's this? Is that new? out my way. Disgusting creature. What's this then? Oh! Where's the thing with the bodies? Am I even looking at tunnels? I don't even know if I am. No, I'm not. Okay. What's that? Acid? Dissolving them? Yeah. The whole place could do the good wash, really. Come on then, stop it. If I'm correct, I need to go straight across. Don't like that acid spray thing being next to the one I'm going into, but we'll be all right. Get myself a fourth key. Thought that was it. Oh, this is it. Okay. Oh, half of it's covered up. Oh, thought I had it then. Okay, that's progress. If I can just make it back without anything eating me, we'll be good.
right, four tulip things on the go. Oh, oh, what's that? What's going on there? What's that doing? Do I want to press this button? Probably. Okay. Right, there's four things there. I can't push it along like that, so... Oh, but the, all the keys have got twisted now. go what's stopping it actually going in is it going that one now right they're all lined up so this bottom one has got to be the last no the first one to go in has got to be here third one why is that not pushing in what all right let's assume that's the f why won't that go in idiot what's what am I doing wrong here ah that key's stuck so of course it won't go any further whilst it's stuck Right, bingo. Okay. Oh yeah, one more. Okay. Well, all the petals have opened up. Well, I don't imagine that's nectar inside. No, it's not. It's a thing. There's another one. There's four of them. There's grim. This is necessary. Oh god. Right. But there is, however, a button to, to interact with. It's got wiggly things on it. Oh, what are you going to do with that? Oh god. Oh. Well, he's asking for help. Oh, 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 don't. Oh, oh. kill it. Okay, well, for God's 
sake. Oh, maybe I wanted it to help me. Okay. is lit up there. Does that mean that this door around here is there anything up here? No. So I wonder if this door is now Accessible, it looks to be. Yes, like a door remote. Yeah, there's nothing up there. So, oh, a bit more reassuring. Well, that's two things solved. I think that's a good good evening's work, really. Cross the midnight threshold. I can I can, I could play a horror game like this at like ten o'clock in the morning, and it not bother me at all. But as soon as it's night time, I don't know. I don't know if it's a hormonal thing or or what. Hormones is in terms of no, my body knows it's night time. I think, is it serotonin that regulates sleep, maybe? So, I wonder if fear is connected to serotonin levels, but it certainly scares the life out of me at night time, these sorts of games. I was playing Resident Evil. Whoa, that must have been months ago, you know. Or weeks ago. Time seems to be going by very fast. Mm, yeah, could be. Could have been a couple of months ago, and it was at night time, and it scared the life out of me. So I had to really stick to the old horror games, but then again, it's a fuller experience when you, you know. That. So it's definitely a, a, a more rounded experience at night time. Oh. Taken to watching horror movies by candlelight as well. <laughs> well, I, I tend to light a candle in the evening. Oh, what's happening now? What's happening? Oh. Oh. You've got two sets of arms. It's weird. It's like Quaid. Quaid. Open your mind, Quaid. What does it say? Open your eyes. Oh. It's lucky the crab thing went in there. There we go. It's exactly what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> um, what's up here? The music made me think that's the correct way, so I'm just going to explore this for a second. What's this? What is that? It's just grim. More grim. More grimness. Okay. Oh. I mean, hats off to the designers. Definitely. It's awesome. But the particle effect earlier, the things that I was calling phages that... Mm, didn't look great for some re weird reason, but the smoke effects, the detail, the design of it, all superb. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, th I think because it's just 
it is is obviously disturbing me because I'm I'm thinking how can I get off I can't I can't wait to get off this game <laughs> basically so it's obviously disturbing me. Don't know why. It's just the unfamiliar. There's very little about this that's familiar. But that's interesting actually. I mean, the the, the creature I'm playing at a hu playing as the humanoid creature has got. You know, two upper limbs, two lower limbs, and then two two mid limbs by the looks of things. Um, so that's so some of it is familiar. You know, some of the design is familiar in a way, like the corridors and things. So it's enough familiarity to enable some degree of comfort and understanding. Then with the the way that the floors and the ceilings and the walls and everything are. There's enough difference in there to to just make you feel on alert, really. And this sort of hybrid organic, inorganic structure again is just it gets you on alert, you know, this, this tubing, it looks functional. Right, I think I'm going to call it quits there, because this looks like the sort of start, if, it, if, it's, if it's got decision-making routes, then it looks like the start of something, so I'm going to exit it there, and call it a night, and thank you, I'll, I'll sign off with my usual